Yep. He's heading straight up the river. Now to, this guy's trying to bulldog right now in this current. First thing I got to do is get this slack line. So I was good to get your line on the reel. So what I do here, can't give him any slack. I put the fish part of the line under this finger, the reel part under my little finger, and now while I'm keeping slack on, see there's the fish running, and if he runs and he can pull the line out of the, until I get it on the reel, now I've got it on the reel, now what I'm going to do is lower the rod tip, reel to the fish, and then lift. Try to keep that fish's head up. So he's trying to get under this deep bank. So now I reel down, keep the pressure to the side. It's really hard for a lot of people to keep side pressure on a fish, but you want to use the rod to steer the fish where you want him to go. Now see he's running, so I, I've got the drag loose so he can, there he runs out and pulls the line off the reel and I want to wait for him. You don't want to be pressuring when he's wanting to run. There he goes again. Now, he's slowing down, so what I'm going to do now is, is just kind of lift. Nope, there he runs, so I bow with the rod to let him run. Now there's some slack, so I lift, and then I reel the slack down. So I've always got a tight line to the fish, but not too tight. The line isn't so tight that I'm going to break him off if, if he runs. I keep this bend in the rod, lift, and then reel down. And then we'll lift. But I can feel he's in pressure, and so I can't lift too much. This is a real strong fish. The main object, what I'm trying to accomplish here, is to get him in the shallow water. He, this deep water, there's more current and the fish is a lot more at home in that deep water. If I can get him up here in the shallow, then I can probably beach him. And the best way to do that is keep this rod bent where I want the fish to go. I want him to move in here to my left, so I'm bending the rod to the left. And we can gain a little line on him, and then we'll pressure him. Once he gets in that shallow, he's going to run. You've always got to be ready. When a, when a fish gets in close, if he's still got some power left and he sees you, he's going to run. He's also not comfortable getting in this shallow water. He's not very at home there, but see, I'm just moving him in, and gradually I'm easing myself up onto the bank, and then I can work the fish in. Oh man, strong. <laughs> oh, this guy's strong. See, I can let him run and he can take line off the rail, but then when he's finished, then I want to turn right around and put the heat back on him again. You've just got to always maintain pressure on a big strong fish or you're not going to have a chance to land him. You've got to play the fish and not let the fish play you. Now I reel down and now I lift. And then when he runs, he wheels line off the reel. Now he stopped. Now I can start working him again. Just never... What I'm really trying to do with this guy is try to keep him disoriented. I'm really not trying to just wear him out. So he doesn't like this shallow water. But when I can get him in this shallow water by keeping side pressure on him, I'm, I've got a good chance of winning the battle. Here he comes. We're getting him up here, and we should be able to land him now. He can't do much once he's up in this. See, I get him over in this shallow. Now he's got trouble. He can't. He really can't do much to me now. Get him up in there and. And, and yet, in that, there isn't a lot of gravel, that's just a soft bank, and so I got him landed. He essentially uh, landed himself. Nice looking uh, hybrid. It's kind of a cutthroat looking fish.
again. There we go. Now here he is. He's a he's a rainbow cutthroat cross. He's a hybrid. Big old thick, powerful fish, and he really put up a fight. But we were able to land him because uh, we kept the heat on him, and he's he's pretty fresh now. He wants to go right now. I didn't play this fish and wear him out. I just kind of kept him disoriented and kept the heat on him, and we got him landed. Well, when you get a big fish on, when you're playing a real big fish, you you've just gotta gotta be patient. Jack, this is one of your flies, by the way, that you came up with, the Kiwi Muddler. My gosh, that's a pretty good looking fly. Let me get tight on it. At least this guy sure liked it. And so have a couple of other nice fish today. So, kind of looks like a scoping. <laughs>